Let's see what the government is doing to help our citizens. Oh, wow. The government relief effort sure is doing a number on those trying to actually provide some relief and help the people in the Carolinas as... Don't worry, another bigger storm is brewing, as we could expect more LGBTQ and diversity statements from Homeland Security and FEMA right now that are prioritizing those issues. Woke virtue signals over, uh, of course, actually helping people. All of this as there's also some very strange and wild conspiracies out there right now about weather modification as we are going to be talking about what is true, what is fiction, and the larger reality of the bigger problems that lay ahead for the majority of people in Florida as Florida men like me are in trouble. This as the latest information we're getting is that Hurricane Milton that developed in the Gulf Coast of Mexico has now officially been upgraded to a category five. This as gas and flights are selling out in Florida, highways are being jam-packed, traffic is up the wazoo as Costco seems like a war zone. I've been there yesterday just to stock up. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good when it comes to my supplies that I have here, but I just made sure to get extra supplies just in case because you're in Florida. You never know what to expect here. As Hurricane Milton is expected to make landfall in Tampa Bay this Wednesday afternoon, as a lot of people are expecting it to become more of a destructive and deadly hurricane than Hurricane Helen. This has currently 6 million people are under hurricane warnings as winds are expected to kick up to 160 miles an hour as storm surges are expected to be as big as 15 feet. This as Hurricane Milton is expected to hit some of the same areas that were just hit by Hurricane Helen. All of this as a lot of people are questioning this larger hurricane and potentially some kind of larger government conspiracy here. As I've even heard people speculate that this is some kind of weather modification acceleration program meant to wipe out mostly predominantly Republican right-wing voters. Now, is that true? We'll talk about that in a little bit. As Florida does usually have to deal with these types of hurricanes, as the true issue is concern is the people who are still reeling from the first one that now have to deal with the second potentially bigger storm coming in their way. This is, of course, storms are unpredictable and could make their way to many places across the United States at any time and moment. As, of course, the intensifying of this hurricane to another category highlights the acceleration of this as it is currently undergoing extreme rapid intensification. As people are describing how this is one of the fastest rapid intensifications ever observed in the Atlantic, as many models didn't predict that this was the larger possibility here, as Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna is coming out with important messages to her constituents in Florida, saying, quote, do not wait for evacuation orders, leave now. This as the government of Florida actually does uh, not that bad of a job responding to these larger kind of weather disasters as Tropicana Field has just been turned into a potential refuge for some of the citizens that might be dealing with, of course, this storm coming their way. Here's the congresswoman in her own words. But when elected officials and law enforcement officers do press conferences, it's not because we want to be on TV, guys. Right behind me right here, you have the projected flooding of Tampa Bay to include Pinellas County. And these are the barrier islands, okay, during Helene. We had a ton of flooding, way higher than nine feet, and that's what's projected in the event that it's a Cat 3 direct hit on Tampa Bay. So when we are asking you guys to evacuate, please listen. We don't want anyone to get hurt, but this is, that's bad. This as even some of the government preparation efforts here in uh, Miami are starting to uh, give out sandbags, as of course Miami has to deal with a lot of flooding as well. And with all of these major situations unfolding right now, you would think the, the corporate media, as well as the federal government response agencies, would hone in on the larger message of preparedness, personal responsibility, making sure that you are prepped and ready for whatever is coming your way. As, of course, they're not doing any of that. They're using this opportunity to, of course, go after people who have uh, wrong opinions, according to them, about the government as CNN 
is writing this article saying, quote, with misinformation swirling in Hurricane Helen's wake, officials urge residents to stop the conspiracy theory junk. Yes, it's the minds of the people that are wrong here as the federal government has failed time and time again with these larger relief efforts that, uh, according to many people, are absolutely incompetent in many instances and ineffective. And again, these officials that are being criticized here just don't want to be criticized. Let's just be honest here. Reuters has another article here talking about how U.S. officials are struggling to squash conspiracy theories about Hurricane Helen. That shouldn't be the issue here, okay? The issue should be, hey, we're, we're going to galvanize all the resources and we're not going to care about the noise. We're not going to care about people's opinions online. We're actually going to help people. The government's not doing that. The government's like, hey, hey, hold on, hold on. People all over there have a bad opinion. That's the real, as people are literally drowning in front of them. Literally. Are you freaking kidding me? If you're a government official, get your fat cat bureaucratic ass down to the Carolinas. Start doing some work helping the average American instead of sitting in your freaking high horse criticizing, saying people have wrong opinions on the internet. Of course they do. It's the internet. People have all sorts of opinions. And for you to be prioritizing that over helping people, and I'm paying you to do that right now, you deserve to be absolutely fired day one. As of course, you're not helping anyone. You're just as bad as the conspiracy theorists here as you're wasting everyone's time when you could be helping them. You're being paid by us. And this article and these larger kind of elitist sentiments here, specifically saying, how dare people have conspiracy theories? When the government is incompetent, when the government does detest their own citizens, when the government isn't helping their own citizens, as of course, the current vice president of the United States literally announced major aid for the people of Lebanon, that our tax dollars are going to finance the bombing of. But Congresswoman MTG responded to this by saying, yes, this is a real post, and it is, I've been able to verify it. As she goes on and says, Kamala Harris is concerned about the security and well-being of civilians suffering in Lebanon as she sent them $385 million this year, $157 million this week, as Kamala Harris gave Hurricane Helen victims 750 bucks as a loan that they have to pay back. $2 million was allocated to hurricane relief to South Carolina, $157 million to Lebanon, that your tax dollars are also paying for the bombs that are being sent over there and, in, uh, and of course, are landing on the civilian and military targets there. And again, the devastation from Helen, massive. And I don't know if you guys were able to see just some of the videos coming out from that specific region, but these are our own people. These are people that are Americans. These are people who need help here that are not getting it specifically because of the federal government being absolutely either incompetent, ineffective, or just uh, diluting their resources to other sources of problems that the government previously helped cause. And again, what's happening right now in the Carolinas, in, in places like Tennessee, hasn't been seen ever. These areas never deal with so much record flooding, which is why some people have some serious kind of questions and concerns here about some kind of larger potential conspiracy here. As of course, it's not normal for this to happen in these specific regions. There's also some conversations about raw minerals and mining of minerals in these specific territories, as I don't think you even need to go there when it comes to the theories, when it comes to understanding the larger discontent the government has against you. As Tim Poole put it perfectly, current democratic priorities, number one, Ukraine, number two, Israel, number three, Lebanon, four, illegal immigrants, five, quote, reproductive health, 253 Hurricane Helen victims. And now, he could add 554 to that list, and that's probably going to be Hurricane Milton victims that are also going to be desperately affected by all of this. And the scenes are scary. They're, they are terrifying. This is something that is unimaginable here, specifically inside of the United States. And these larger government efforts to say, hey, we're going to help out Lebanon, when scenes like this are uh, unfolding in America is an absolute insult to injury. It is a slap to the face. It should be a major wake-up call, as a lot of people are suffering 
A lot of people are dealing with devastating situations and you don't need conspiracy theories to kind of explain how the government could be doing a lot more, could be a lot more effective, could be actually saving the lives, helping out individuals and people who have lost everything. There, there could be a lot of help. There, there, there could be a lot more people that would be with us here today if it wasn't for the federal government prioritizing other needs and wants that, of course, it continues to routinely lie about. As FEMA has spent a lot of its money and resources on illegal immigrants, the federal government is lying about this, as we had statements from Corrine John LeBaire, uh, essentially describing these larger kind of government efforts and the larger distribution of resources that, of course, um, now she denies ever saying, as she previously described it as a great thing. Now she's describing it as a conspiracy theory. It doesn't exist. And of course, this is why there's more conspiracy theories, because the government lies to your face. And when the government lies to your face, it gives a reason for people to mistrust them, which they should, because they're liars. And with more liars, more distrust in the public system, the bigger, of course, an opportunity we have to understand the true reality of the current situation that we are all in. As the leader of Homeland Security was just seen shopping for uh, expensive clothes. This, as uh, the Hodge twins noted, uh, Americans are dying in the mountains of uh, North Carolina. There's other deranged lunatic individuals on social media that are acting absolutely crass, absolutely disrespectful, and saying that it's a good thing that uh, people are dying and that the hurricane hit this specific area because it's predominantly white right-wingers that are being affected here. Now, is that the true purpose here? Well, I, I think with the way that things are going, there's reason to believe this, as of course, uh, FEMA executives are literally talking about prioritizing LGBTQ people during hurricanes. There's also larger kind of pledges for diversity when it comes to disaster relief efforts, which of course will prioritize people based on the color of their skin, not if they actually need help, which is absolutely insane here. These videos of federal bureaucrats that you paid for, literally talking about prioritizing people because they decided that they're not going to reproduce and therefore that is a benefit for them, that they're not able to have children, which is a benefit to the world somehow, that they get first dibs. Oh, oh, oh someone's a different color, but, but, but they were less devastated? They get more resources here. That right there is cruel and unusual punishment to individuals since, of course, it's American tax dollars that are paying for all of this. And that, to me, is just absolutely insane. Wow. You know, that, that really sparked a few things um, in, in my mind, thinking about preparedness and how you said, you know, uh, LGBTQIA people and people who have been um, disadvantaged already are struggling. They already have their own things to deal with. So you add a disaster on top of that, um, it's it's just compounding on itself. Um, and I think that is maybe uh, the why of why we're having these discussions is because it, it isn't being talked about. It isn't being socialized. We're not paying attention to this community. Yeah, it's good to know. The government has its uh, priorities uh, straight here with these uh, woke virtue signals that don't do anything other than, of course, discriminate against people because of the way that they were born. And now let's talk about the more kind of salacious aspects of all of this. And that is the theories that a lot of this is being kind of artificially generated in order to specifically debilitate and go after right-wing political circles and right-wing states in order to, of course, destabilize them, weaken them for a potential trap laid out in, in the future. Is that actually happening here? Well, that's what some people actually do believe here, as it's important to note here that weather modification and cloud seeding is a real thing. There's even news reports specifically talking about this larger action of cloud seeding, which is the act of interacting with the weather, modifying it with, of course, putting things into the clouds in order to generate certain results by releasing chemicals into the atmosphere and creating a response that could aid 
or even potentially stop certain weather cycles from existing. As of course, it's important to note here that many countries have used cloud seeding before with uh, very bad results that ended up with the massive flooding of particular areas with uh, unexpected results from individuals who were previously trying to prevent that rain from actually affecting them. The Chinese government did this very publicly during their 2008 Olympics. Switzerland even just announced with its local news reports that they grounded its cloud seeding planes. And with the ability to de-intensify or intensify specific cycles, it's important to kind of question here, why wouldn't the government meet? government be doing this is of course they already have a lot of discontent towards uh, the republicans they are, already don't like them the federal government is already using the full might of the doj and the fbi to go after people who don't believe in quote reproductive health and people who show up to their parent teacher school conferences and of course to a lot of predominant right-wing media figures that of course are being questioned and investigated more than ever as of course, a lot of people are being prosecuted. A lot of people are being punished for their political beliefs in this country. So why wouldn't the government take it up a notch here and just say, you know what? Screw these people. We really don't like them. Why not add to their kind of injury and problems that they have to deal with since they're thorn in our side and we don't like them. We, we want to get rid of them anyway. Is that the thinking of what's going on here? I don't know. I cannot independently verify that myself. But when it comes to weather modification, it is a real thing. And whether it's Switzerland, China, Morocco, a lot of countries are doing this as Congresswoman MTG took to Twitter to say, yes, they control the weather. It's, quote, ridiculous for anyone to lie and say it can't be done. It can. Now, control is, is a word that a lot of people are, of course, kind of focusing on here as I wouldn't use that. I, I would say modify. There is a potential to modify the weather. Obviously, it's clear the science is there. And whenever you have these kind of occurrences that uh, don't usually happen, this is what is going to breed a lot of the conspiracies, especially with the government lying through their teeth. As a lot of people are now saying that this hurricane was cloud seeded, manipulated, modified to create an Armageddon against a specifically red state. Some people are saying that this is a specific geo-engineered storm. And, and again, as of right now, we do not have any kind of empirical proof or evidence. We don't have the smoking gun. We don't have exact particular evidence other than, of course, speculation and conjecture. Now, we know the possibilities here are, are very vast. And there are already a lot of scientific experiments that are being done without our approval or acquiescence as of course there are larger experiments that are being done to block out the sun that previously have been stopped in some areas but then also restarted and uh, carried out and when it comes to this idea of uh, weapons of weather modification this is something that is absolutely real again the russians have tsunami weapons that could artificially through nuclear weapons being detonated underwater create massive natural slash human disasters that would of course wreak havoc on local populations that would be almost impossible to discern if it was natural or man-made if you're on the ground dealing with it now what's really going on here are we dealing with a weather operation what are the larger capabilities were those capabilities utilized here with, with hurricane helen hurricane milton well they are already doing a lot of secretive scientific experiments without our compliance san francisco literally released salt crystals over its bay to quote help curb uh warming and and again this is a lot of individuals just playing with god and when it comes to the advancement of technology we're, we're dealing also with the advancement of a lot of potential disasters that could happen at any moment at any time that are absolutely real these disasters, I think, should be taken seriously, should be something that we should have a real conversation about, as a lot of the people who thought they were safe, a lot of the people who thought they were in the clear, absolutely weren't. Now, some of the people cheerleading this on are just uh, absolutely pathetic and disgusting. The government officials that are taking your money and using it to prioritize woke virtue signaling right now are absolutely pathetic and disgusting. As Americans, I don't care about your own political beliefs or ideology. We should be there for each other. We should be helping 
each other out. And the fact that we're not, the fact that we're prioritizing a lot of this kind of nonsense over the actual real situation that we have to deal with all together just highlights the larger problems in our society that I believe should be addressed immediately. And if you agree, share this video with your friends and family members, as of course, there's a lot of independent organizations. There's a lot of people who are helping people online prepare for this and prep. Go check them out. Do your own research. Do your own homework. Stay vigilant. Stay prepared because anything at any moment could happen and you cannot rely for the government to be there for you. Share this video with your friends and family members. We return uh, later on today with uh, U.S. General Flynn, 6 p.m. Eastern here on uh, this particular YouTube channel. Uh, you could also call in and be a part of the show by signing up to lukeunfiltered.com. Also, uh, just by signing up, you get the Apocalypse Survival Training Drill, which you get to download. Say you're uh, dealing with a particular situation and uh, you don't have internet, you don't have uh, electricity, you could download these videos while you still have some kind of battery life, play them, and they are tutorials about how to kind of survive living out in the wild by yourself. Uh, so definitely go check that out. And again, sign up to lukeunfiltered.com. You get the ability to call into the show and it would be awesome to, of course, see you guys there. If you haven't signed up yet, what are you waiting for? Sign up right now and I will see you there right after this particular broadcast. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for, for you guys signing up to lukeunfiltered.com. And because you do, this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on youtube.com forward slash we are change. We return 6 p.m. Eastern. See you then.